Ahoy! Get ready to dive into the monumental endeavor that is the redevelopment of Pearl Harbor's Dry Dock 5. This project isn't just another naval upgrade. It's a leap into the future, a testament to engineering prowess, and, let's be honest, a massive construction site that's probably causing quite the traffic jam on Oahu. But hey, progress always comes with a bit of chaos, right? The big picture, what's happening? In March 2023, the Naval Facilities Engineering Systems Command awarded a whopping $2.8 billion contract to the Drakados Hawaiian Dredging Orion Joint Venture to construct Dry Dot 5. This is part of the Navy's broader shipyard infrastructure optimization program, a $21 billion initiative aimed at upgrading and modernizing U.S. naval shipyards over 20 years. Dry Dock 5 will replace the outdated Dry Dock 3, built in 1942, which can no longer accommodate the Navy's modern, larger Virginia-class submarines and other surface ships. This redevelopment is set to not only improve operational efficiency, but also to significantly reduce maintenance backlogs, thus enhancing fleet readiness. The project is a critical component of the Navy's strategy to maintain its global presence and quick response capabilities. The construction involves cutting-edge technology and innovative engineering solutions to meet contemporary and future demands. The scale and scope of this project underscore the Navy's commitment to ensuring its shipyards are capable of supporting the next generation of naval vessels. A historical perspective. Why now? Dry Dock 3 has been a stalwart since World War II, but just like trying to fit a sumo wrestler into skinny jeans, it's no longer up to the task. The new Dry Dock 5, with its state-of-the-art design, will support the Pacific Fleet's nuclear-powered submarines for the next 150 years. This marks the first new dry dock construction at Pearl Harbor since 1943, making it a historic milestone for the Navy and the island of Oahu. The timing of this project is crucial as the Navy seeks to enhance its capabilities amidst growing geopolitical tensions and evolving maritime threats. The redevelopment is also a nod to the shipyard's rich history and its role in pivotal moments of naval warfare. By modernizing the infrastructure, the Navy ensures that Pearl Harbor remains a pivotal hub for both defense and innovation. The new dry dock will incorporate the latest advancements in construction and maritime technology, making it a benchmark for future projects. The ceremony, kicking things off with Aloha. The construction officially kicked off with the Hawaiian Blessing Ceremony on August 19, 2023, blending tradition with the start of this massive project. The first major milestone was reached on February 24, 2024, with an anchoring ceremony attended by U.S. Senator Mazzi Hirono and Admiral Samuel Paparo, among others. This ceremony marked the installation of foundational piles, setting the stage for the full-scale construction to follow. The event was not just a formal commencement, but also a celebration of the collaboration between military and civilian sectors. The presence of high-ranking officials highlighted the project's importance at the national level. The ceremony also featured cultural performances and speeches that underscored the significance of the project to the local community. It was a moment of pride for all stakeholders involved, symbolizing the blend of tradition and progress. The blessing ceremony in particular reflected the deep respect for Hawaiian culture and the integration of these values into the project's ethos. Construction details, more than just concrete and steel. The project involves some heavy-duty logistics, from site preparation to environmental permits, ensuring minimal disruption to the surrounding areas. It's estimated that around 2,500 local jobs will be created over the course of the construction, bringing significant economic benefits to the island. Moreover, local and small businesses in Hawaii are expected to play crucial roles, emphasizing community involvement in this high-profile project. The construction phase includes extensive planning to address potential environmental impacts, such as measures to protect marine life and reduce pollution. The use of advanced construction techniques and materials will ensure the durability and efficiency of the new dry dock. This phase also involves continuous monitoring and adaptation to ensure compliance with safety and environmental regulations, 
The project management team is employing cutting-edge project management tools and techniques to keep the construction on schedule and within budget. This meticulous planning and execution highlight the Navy's commitment to sustainability and innovation. Environmental and Community Impact The Navy and its contractors are committed to minimizing environmental impact. The redevelopment includes measures to ensure sustainable practices and to protect the unique Hawaiian ecosystem. This involves close coordination with environmental agencies and local communities, aiming for a balance between modernization and preservation. Efforts include the use of eco-friendly materials and technologies that reduce the carbon footprint of the construction process. The project also includes initiatives to preserve local wildlife and marine habitats. Community engagement programs have been set up to keep residents informed and involved, ensuring transparency and collaboration. Educational programs and partnerships with local schools and universities are also part of the plan. The long-term benefits of such a balanced approach include a healthier ecosystem and a stronger relationship between the Navy and the local community. The humor in heavy machinery. Let's take a moment to appreciate the lighter side of such a grand project. Imagine the daily commute for those working on site dodging massive cranes, navigating through endless mazes of construction materials, and probably losing count of how many times they've been honked at for driving too slow. But it's all in the name of progress, and maybe a little bit of fun in operating some of the largest construction equipment known to man. The sheer scale of the machinery involved is a sight to behold, with cranes towering over the skyline and trucks the size of small houses. Workers might share a laugh over the challenge of finding their lunchboxes amid the sea of steel beams and concrete blocks. The camaraderie developed in such a dynamic and challenging environment often leads to humorous anecdotes that will be shared for years to come. The blend of hard work and humor creates a unique atmosphere where every small victory is celebrated and every obstacle is met with a collective chuckle. After all, it's not every day you get to build a piece of history. The technical marvel. What makes Dry Dock 5 special? Dry Dock 5 isn't just bigger, it's smarter. Incorporating the latest in construction technology, it will feature advanced materials and design innovations to ensure it meets the Navy's rigorous standards. This includes enhanced durability to withstand decades of use and the capability to dock the latest classes of submarines, including those not yet in service. The dry dock will be equipped with cutting edge systems for managing water flow, structural integrity, and environmental controls. Innovations in design will also improve efficiency and maintenance operations, reducing downtime for vessels. The use of automated systems and robotics in the construction process ensures precision and safety, setting new standards for naval infrastructure. The project's engineering marvel lies in its ability to integrate traditional craftsmanship with modern technology, creating a facility that is both robust and adaptable. This technical prowess ensures that Dry Dock 5 will not only serve current needs, but also adapt to future advancements in naval technology and vessel design. Future-proofing the fleet. The Navy's investment in Dry Dock 5 is about future-proofing its fleet. As geopolitical tensions continue to evolve, having a modern, capable shipyard in the Pacific is crucial. This dock will play a key role in maintaining the operational readiness of the Pacific Fleet, ensuring that the U.S. Navy can project power and respond to threats effectively. The strategic location of Pearl Harbor makes it an ideal hub for operations in the increasingly contested Pacific region. The new dry dock will enhance the Navy's ability to conduct repairs and maintenance swiftly, ensuring that vessels can return to duty without delay. This readiness is vital in a world where maritime security is increasingly challenged by new and sophisticated threats. The investment also signals a commitment to maintaining technological superiority in naval warfare. By future-proofing its infrastructure, the Navy ensures that it remains a dominant force on the global stage, capable of deterring adversaries and protecting national interests. And that's a wrap on the incredible redevelopment of Pearl Harbor's Dry Dock 5. If you enjoyed this deep dive into one of the Navy's most ambitious projects, 
Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into groundbreaking developments and behind the scenes looks at monumental projects. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.